my name is Ellie Ciccarelli. Welcome to my world. I am an artist and I would like to teach you how to paint with acrylic, so welcome aboard. I have a shop, it's called Memories Forever, located in Bombazine, Vermont, and I offer lessons there. I have some summer people that come up and they want to continue their painting when they leave our beautiful state of Vermont, and this is one way to be able to have it available for them, and for you too. So today I have a project planned and it's really for a beginner painter so that you can start at the very beginning of a project as even early how to set up all the way to the end and that's what we're going to do together. So welcome aboard, it's only paint, let's go have fun. Hi everybody, it's a great time, let's get organized. I have um, my kitchen table we're seated at right now and you can see this big cover, it's to cover my Delft tile, which is actually a work in progress. This is painted on my table. But that's another story, but let's cover it right up. I use an old sheet, and then on top of the old sheet, I have a piece of uh, freezer paper, and I just take a little bit of um, tape, tape down those corners, and boy, you know, clean up's really great with it. That is now my paint palette. With that, I use a paper towel, put my water bucket, use an old cup, works great, you can tell it has great experience, and great for my brushes, we have a grouping of brushes, that would be helpful, big ones would do to um, prep your piece, do the background colors, large areas, and maybe a round one, flat, and a liner. Three basic brushes, that works out great, medium size is wonderful, this is brush we might not use today, but it's a stencil brush, just adds for neat effect, and a few extra little details that I have. I'll show you what this thing does. We have acrylic paint, that's our fast drying paint. I have various colors available. Um, there's hundreds available, but I have these right here, and as we get into projects, I can let you know what colors that I'm using. You can certainly use your own, that's the artistic license. And we also will bring in our project. But one of the other pieces that we need is our pattern that we're going to use and transfer paper. This is what uses to take the design from here and puts it to here. So um, in order to do this, we use transfer paper. And it has a charcoal liner on the inside. And then once we place our pattern, it goes between our project and the pattern. And this is called a stylist. And if we press on it, like just like a pencil, not hard, it moves the lines from here to there. And then it's fill in the blank. It's a little more than that. But by the time I get done with you, it'll be, that's, that's easy. Okay. That's it for startup. We're ready to